All right, welcome to Everyman Truck Driver in this case because I've got three stories about trucks that you'll find interesting. One is the longest lasting pickup trucks based on a recent study. Then I have pickup trucks with the biggest discounts off MSRP that you can take advantage of right now in your area. And Consumer Reports just tested 17 pickup trucks and only liked two. Let's get started. Let's begin with a study from iccars.com. When analyzing which light-duty pickup trucks are most likely to reach 200,000 miles, six pickup trucks rated above the 1.9% average for the vehicle class. Three additional longest-lasting pickups join the top-ranked Toyota Tundra, the second-ranked Honda Ridgeline, and the third-ranked Toyota Tacoma. This from the executive analyst with iccars.com. On average, pickup trucks are almost twice as likely to reach 200,000 miles with a 1.9% average for the segment, which is nearly double for the average for all vehicles. Pickup trucks are commonly used as work vehicles, obviously, and are likely to accrue more miles than typical passenger cars, while often benefiting from more consistent preventative maintenance and necessary repairs. Here are the results. Ranked fifth is the Silverado 1500 full-size pickup, while its mechanically identical GMC Sierra 1500 ranked 7th and falls just below the segment average. The Chevy Silverado is more of a working truck, while the GMC Sierra markets itself as a premium vehicle, according to iccars.com. As a result, the Silverado likely logs more miles as a utility device, though the Sierra still fares well above the overall vehicle average. Now, the full-size Nissan Titan ranks 4th. Here's the quote, Nissan has aggressively courted truck buyers in recent years and the Titan's long distance reliability confirms the company's effort to produce a durable work vehicle. The last full-size pickup that is more likely than the average pickup to reach 200,000 miles is the 6th ranked Ford F-150. This is, of course has been America's most popular vehicle for over 40 years and its popularity with consumers and fleet buyers is a testament to its reliability and longevity. All right, now pick up trucks with the biggest discounts off MSRP that you can take advantage of in your zip code. By the way, you can use my free car shopping tool. Go to quotes.everymandriver.com and you can find deals in your area. So if you are in the market, uh, take a look at the following table. This is from realcartips.com. These days, of course, MSRP doesn't mean much since hardly anyone expects to pay that price, but it can be difficult to figure out which competing models are actually cheapest without knowing the kind of average discount they're selling for. This table here shows the biggest average discount you can expect for each model right now, with the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 having the biggest average discounts, 16.2% after incentives. Now, you can sort this table by clicking any column. I'll put a link to this table in the description below, and then you'll see... Uh, if you sort by average, the 2020 Nissan Frontier is the cheapest with an average selling price of under $28,000. Again, check out quotes.everymandriver.com to see the best deals being offered in your local area. So Consumer Reports just tested 17 pickup trucks and only liked two of them, demonstrating that it believes there's plenty of room for improvement in this segment, which accounts for, listen to this, one out of every five new vehicles sold. So hear that? One out of every five new vehicles sold is a pickup truck, yet they only liked two of the 17 on this list. The Honda Ridgeline fared the best in their testing, achieving an overall score of 80. The Jeep Gladiator is the other only pickup truck recommended by Consumer Reports, notching a 65 score, and both of those are mid-size pickup trucks. If you're wondering about the test that Consumer Reports conducts, they do 50 of them. Uh, to evaluate factors such as braking, handling, comfort, safety, and fuel economy, just to name a few, and also factors in predicted reliability and owner satisfaction. Finally, it looks at other features such as safety tech and crash test results. Although automakers advertise trucks as tough, rugged vehicles, reliability is the biggest problem with the segment, according to Consumer Reports. They say here, you see more drivetrain problems with pickup trucks there are transmission problems and, like other vehicles, problems with in-car electronics. After crunching the numbers, the organization didn't recommend any full-size pickup trucks. The Tundra came the closest, helped by better-than-average reliability and owner satisfaction, but its fuel economy was the worst in the segment, and its ride was poor compared to most of the other choices. Again, I'll put a link to this report as well in the description below. So there you go. 
Those are some of the reports I have today from Everyman Truck Driver. Love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll continue the conversation there. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.